EJ Board Game Gumbo, we're broadcasting live. I've got BJ and J Bell. J Bell, designer of Spotlight, but this time we're moving on to a different game from Jack of Peace. J, yeah. what are we playing? We are playing My Small Garden. It is, and I'm going to try to say this right. I love the alliteration in the tagline. It is a cooperative game of properly placing your potted plants on your porch patio. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. Crazy. Wow, how did you remember that? That's great. Yeah, um, so I just this... played this on the Twitch stream a couple of nights ago, and it is super thinking. And I just played with the small one, man. Yeah, wow. yeah. So this is a game by Adam Stichter, my co-designer for Spotlight. Uh, he runs Jack of Peace Games, and Adam is a genius when it comes to like strategic, puzzly card games. But I mean, that makes sense. In his day job, he's a um, an escape room puzzle designer. No way. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So you're about to see us. Um, struggle to make this 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 puzzle work essentially bj and i are roommates and we are planting a small garden in our apartment and we're trying to make sure that all of our plants are aligned in a way that's that's congruent for them um so we have white plant cards but good news for the viewer this this graphic design looks amazing when you see it live. Yeah, right? it's got that kind of hand drawn look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bad news for the viewer, it doesn't look so good with the uh, camera. Yeah, behind. we're we're trying to get the camera to catch everything, but and it's gonna it's gonna super light out. bright. Yeah, so we'll tell you we'll, we'll tell you what we're seeing, but suffice it to say, it looks a lot better on the tabletop than it does on the stream. Yeah. All right, so we got plants and we got seeds. Yes, yes. So. The plant cards are going to go face up. Those are the plants that we kind of like buy from the store sure. or plants that are already grown. The seed cards are plants that have not yet grown, but they'll be finished out at the end of the round. And we got to make sure that they are just the right plants for our garden, right? Right. Building out a four by four tableau mm -hmm. of cards mm -hmm. that are both seeds and plants. Mm -hmm. Plants and seeds can never be next to the same type of thing. Right. Plants can't be next space. to plants. Yeah. Speeds can't, seeds can't be next to speeds. So we got, when we're building out that tableau, but that first card that comes out is just, it's not the center, it's just the first card we can build from any mm -hmm. range after that, right? Yep, okay. so that will be, oh, a 21. And if you look at it, there's a minus here, minus here, minus here, plus here. That means the card that goes over here has to be greater than 21. All of these other placements have to be less than 21. So BJ and I are going to have a hand of cards. We get to pick as many from each stack as we want in our hand of four, but we have to make sure that we're always able to place a card. Otherwise, we can discard our hand, and then we draw back up with minus with one. Minus one. So yeah, uh, and at the, end, at the end, whenever we reveal those seed cards, if any of those are not played correctly, and we have more than two of them, we lose the game, right? Yeah, so, and I just looked at the... That's for the intro challenge, right? Yeah. Let's see. So I'm going to pick two seed cards, mm -hmm. and I'm going to pick two plant cards. These are going to be in my hand. No table talk, right, Jay? No table talk. All right. Yeah, so. and we will, based on the scoring rubric, we'll see what our goal is. Okay. And what we end up getting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, see. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, look yeah. at that. Okay, we can it's see the symbols. That direct light. That direct light, the yeah. shininess of all right, so Jay, I'm gonna go first, and I'm I'm trying to. Now there is one more symbol that we haven't seen yet, right? And that's the four symbol. What does that four mean? So the four means the card that is placed in that direction has to be a multiple of four. So you got your fours, eights, twelves, sixteens, all the way up to I believe thirty six. I think it's thirty six or thirty two. But yeah, so there's no table talk, but it's early in the game, Jay. Mm -hmm. You have to figure that I've played this correctly. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, we're going to yeah. be on our way to losing. So Yeah. Uh, let's well, I don't know if you want to trust that. So Yeah. So what's interesting about solo play for this game versus co-op is I don't know what BJ's put here. So I have to just sort of hope that, you know, my roommate, as I was gone to get groceries, planted a seed sure. that's going to work out in our garden. But um, You can trust me, Jay. I know yeah. my plants, man. Yeah, I think, I think maybe this is what I want to do. So Jay went with it on his side. It's a negative, mm -hmm. so somewhere lower than twenty-one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. How far lower did he go? Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it the same theme. I thought. Oh, 
Oh, this game is just diabolical. But see, sometimes is the choice. I can make the easy <laughs> choice, but I don't really want to. So I'll just do that and we'll see what happens. All right. Oh, man. Yes. Cylon. You can usually count on me to be in the Cylon in this game. No, I'm, I'm going to really try to win this because I, I like this game. The first time I played it, I was like, hmm. Second time I played it, I was like, wow. And, yeah. then I, and I won, and then I played it on the stream and I lost. But, but I'm just playing with these guys. Have you played with the tougher goals? Anymore? I played with one of the, uh, the regular goals, that one of the regular extras. It was like you have to place certain ones in the corner. Yes. So it wasn't too, too bad. But, but you also have to do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still have to do this one too. Oh, man. Yeah, it, and you it can, can only get tough. lose two. It's yeah. really, Steve, this... This is a game I think you would really like. And especially because, Steve, you could play this one solo, too. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to think here. If this one is lower than 21, if you did that correctly and this one's higher, I have to, like, fall within this range, which, oh, man, that's tough. I think I'm just going to do this instead. I may not have thought about that. Hmm, interesting. Ah, oh, I hadn't thought of that part. Okay. And <clears throat> actually, that sort of table talk is kind of like, I think, acceptable. Yeah. Because I'm not saying anything about what's in my hands. Yeah, but you, don't, you still yeah. don't know what I put. Yeah. I'm just telling you I have a tough hand of cards. And I think, that, I think that's fair, table yeah. talk, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't know what I have. Oh. Um, okay. There we go. So I'll put that there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm totally limited as to what I have, Jay, so I'm just going to have to do this. Oh, yeah, I know. A I big know. one. I know, but I literally, I don't, I'm pretty, I'm pretty limited. So. I do love the variety in the plants, too, though. The pots are different. The plants are different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that. And you said that Adam, uh, Adam, you know, encourages people to actually color their cards. Yeah, he was mentioning it to me that, like, he invites people to color the plants any way that they want so that it's really your own garden, you know? Your own deck. Yep. Yeah. So my small garden legacy? <laughs> yeah. Could much. be. Yep. Uh, hmm. I am not sure. I don't remember. Yeah. Mm, I DJ. Don't remember. Yeah, Red but here's the, here's the cool thing about this game that I hadn't noticed until I just made this play. In normal games, this would be the end. Think, think in terms of like six nymph or something, Steve. But in this game, that plus sign means I can. We can still go out that way. Yeah. We're not backstopped, right? Do here. I want to? Uh... But now that's going to create the end of the, the tableau. I know, maybe, I know. maybe that's what we need to do. Yeah, I think this is the move. That's the move. That's the. Move. And there's that memory aspect. Will Will I remember what I placed here and here? There's a good chance that I will not. So you, yeah. you should count on that. that yeah. I not remember what I placed here, but uh, we'll see. Um, okay. Oh, I wish I had a different card for that. Um, it would be oh. better. Yeah, what are you picking? You picking that? Actually, I'm going to pull from here. All right, so you went below 21 there. All right, so, you know, 18 or 19 or 15, something like that, uh, which means I could do that. But I cannot do that. Yeah, that is not good. Exactly. Oh, okay. I like it. What kind of markers would stick to that cardstock? Um, what are they called? You might know, Carlos. Like, yeah, um, the dry erase and the sharpies, would those work or would those wipe off? Uh, dry I tried, erase would wipe off. I yeah. tried, um, it's kind of like the anime coloring art pens, you know, the ones with the double sides. Oh, yeah, there's a name for them. I don't, I don't know. Copics? Copics markers. Yeah. Yeah, Copics right. markers should, should do the trick. J. Bell recommends Copics markers <laughs> if you want to make your cards pop. I mean, crayons could also work. That's true. Colored pencils, maybe? No, yes. Mm. And, uh, the, this is nice card stick. Yeah. It's kind of slick there. All right, so Steve, I played a seven here. That means, if I remembered correctly, that this card is higher and this card is higher. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. unfortunately, oh no, actually you, you didn't do what I thought you were yeah, going to do. Yeah, we didn't define okay, the area so we still, we still have, we can we still have room this way and that way. We're limited oh, to here. Oh yeah, we're, we're done we're, here. Yeah, we're done that yeah. way. Because remember, it's a four by four tableau, so. <sighs> oh, I don't remember what I put here, and I wish I, I did. Oh man. 
Okay, this, this might work. I think this will work. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, I, can, I can help you out with that. I think I can. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm going to go over here, Jake. Yeah, I'm going to go over here. All right. And I'm going to hope. Oh, man. You know what? This is where the strategy comes in. Because mm -hmm. I got to think about these two cards. I normally always like to go two and two. Yeah. But in this case, yeah. I got to pull a white one. Yeah, I started flipping too. I like, pull I, don't, a seed. I don't need any. I got to pull a seed. Ah, what I am I doing? I need some help. We're getting in a real tight spot. Oh, this is, this is where that lack of perfect information, Steve, it's just killing me because I just don't know what this is. Mm -hmm. But I can kind of, I can kind of get, well, no, I can't. Well, I know it's less than that. Yeah, so it's got to be less than that. That's if it's played correctly. Uh, don't forget, we still have this row. If you're not comfortable with that one, we still have that row to go. That's true. That's true. Um, I just my my white cards are just not helping here. I may have to do something. Now. We're gonna see. I, I may have to do something here. All right. Oh, he's um, taking my spot. We'll I'm see. gonna try it. He is taking my spot. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have to do that though. Okay. I think it's a good spot. Okay. Oh, yeah, look, I can do this. Okay. I, this one's going to be trouble for me. Okay. So, but I'm, I'm hoping I can pull a card here. Okay, let me just look at it again. Mm -hmm. sure. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I got that. Got it. Okay. Yep. Yep. Good. All right. Come on. Man. Come on. Okay. This is tough. Yeah, I just don't have this one here. Mm. What to do, what to do. You know what? I think that's a good move. That's probably... Oh, go face up. There we go. Okay. We just need three cards here? Yeah, three cards left. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I don't know what... I don't know what that one is. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Man, Jay, I think I'm gonna mess this up, but I don't. I don't really have a choice unless I want to. So in a co-op game, we so can do I... three mess ups. Oh. Okay. Should I discard? You can compost oh, three cards. That is. How far did you go? Okay, I'm going to try this. Okay, if we got three mess-ups. I think I can do that. All right, we'll see. Mm. We'll see if I mess mm. up. So we need a white and we need a black, right? Yeah. And you're going to play one or the other. I have to decide before you play, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Mm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Pulled what I needed. All right. All right, let's see what we got. Adam, oh. diabolical. This game is really, really diabolical. Let's start from the top up okay. here. So we got a five, and that means that this card has to be higher. Yes. It is, and, and it's less to be higher. And that one's higher, so these are good here. This one is less than 24, so this card, good. Let's so go right across. So good. This should be a multiple of four, and it is, so this yeah, card I pull, is good. I, I pulled that. I pulled that luck. Good job, BJ. Yep. All right, so this one is higher than 20, 21, 22 is higher than 21, sure so this is. can stay here. It's also higher than 7. That one's good. So far, so good. This one is good. It's less than... It's less than 16. 16. And, I mean, it's less and than 21. It's, it's less than 27. BJ, we are on the right track. Let's see what we got here. Okay, 26 is less than 27. It is not no less good. than 15. Oh, you went right 100. Yeah. I mean, you know, I had a big space here between 1 and 15. I was like, man, it's, there's a chance, right? Yeah. But it's okay because we can still, still compost two cards and win the game. Okay. Okay, so here, 20 is a multiple of 4. It is. It is less than 21. It is. And it's greater it's than less 7. It's less than, yeah. Well, I played there. all four of these cards, so I, okay. I, knew, I knew the information. There. All right, this is where it was tough, right? 
Ah, nice. Two is less than I seven. I pulled this out of my butt. I grabbed this on that last one. I was like, oh, I need this. Yeah. This one, I have last no idea. One. Oh, I played that one. It's more okay, than yeah, 10. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Less than 15. BJ, oh, we knocked it out. Bing, bang. So what's great about My Small Garden is BJ and I did stellar that rap. But you can always increase the difficulty of the game by adding extra, extra goals. We were just playing high or lower. There are so many other goals. There are normal ones. And then there are extra tough ones that you can try and play. So you can scale your difficulty. Yeah, so can you imagine, you know, having all your square pots be in arrangements? So you're trying to think of that. The, the drawings on here have these square pots or they have these. Uh, this would be considered square pots, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you got these square pots here and you're trying to keep those in the arrangements while mm -hmm. also playing the, up, the higher and lowers and trying to remember where you were. Now, yeah. that's the cool thing about this playing with a partner. I was kind of building on this side, except for that 12 I threw. Mm -hmm. So I knew 22 and 20, mm -hmm. the whole game. When I played by myself, I had all those seeds to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that memory aspect is challenging, Yeah, but, but fun. So yeah, you can play with your favorite pot planting partner or go solo and still enjoy the game. My Small Garden, designed by Adam Stichter and Arena Klokova. Yeah, I believe that's who did the art for the plant. Oh, sorry, yeah. that's right, the art. I see it now, the little artist thing. Yeah. And that's from Jack of Peace Games. It's also on the crowd sale right now, Jake. Also on the crowd sale. Right now, I think it's 11.55 or 11.33, and with a couple more buys, it's going to get another discount. Won't you help us? We just need a couple of more, and we can get that price for you. Oh, One more. Can there you, you go. There you, Operators there you go. are standing by right <laughs> now. Won't you make that call? So that's my small garden from Jack of Peace Games. I'm telling you, I, I love the fact that you could throw this in your backpack, Jay. You're going to the airport. You got, or you're at a it's convention. A space. Yeah. I'm an early gamer. So sometimes I'm just, you know, waiting for Tom Bassel mm -hmm. or Eric Sommer because these guys, they stay up all night. So I'm, I'm out in the <laughs> hall, seven o'clock in the morning. I could set this up and play waiting for somebody else to come, right? Yeah. It's definitely a good time. My Small Garden, I'm BJ from Board Game Gumbo. And I'm Jay Bell. And that was My Small Garden from Jack of Peace Games. Take a look at it on the Game Crafter. Until next time, laissez le bon temps rouler.